highway to the danger zone. I'll take you right into the danger zone. Hello, fellow followers. Welcome back to Fancine. Greg here, and today I have for you my 4K movie review of Top Gun Maverick, starring Tom Cruise. I have to say, I did not see this in theaters, and now I regret that because after all the talk about this, because I was very anticipated for this movie, and I heard so many people talk so many great things about this movie, I kind of got a little nervous because sometimes when I hear so many people talk about a movie that I'm really excited about and how great it is, it makes me weary, and it, I kind of hesitate on seeing it and that's that's my own neuroses neuroses that I have but I picked up the 4k and man did it not disappoint and as far as this 4k goes this is one of the most beautiful 4ks I have ever seen and and beautiful 4ks of a newer movie because let's be honest most newer movies are so full of cgi and they're shot digitally they're not really shot on film anymore and they're mostly up conversions spe specifically disney's and stuff but this movie the i i'm really not sure what this is shot with i know it is shot digitally as far as i i know but a lot of it is done practically and in camera and oh my god the imax scenes because uh, this goes from IMAX to like regular, you know, aspect ratio. Uh, they're uh, amazing. This like really puts you in this movie. Uh, holy shit, man. Uh, I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan, uh, but dude's a freaking classic bona fide movie star. And he just like this movie. It, I, I, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but uh, I never thought I would say that a movie made in 2022 that is a sequel to a 1980s classic film or a film that's regarded by so many as a classic is better than the 80s film I, that kind of hurts me a little bit because i'm a huge 80s lover i love 80s movies but this is just like a better movie it truly is not that top gun the original is it's great movie i love the original top gun but uh this movie is just insanely great it is damn does it get intense too it gets intense um I didn't expect to like it as much as I did because I knew I would like it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I kind of, you know, so many people talk about the movie and, uh, you know, how great it was and how they saw it in theaters. And I'm sure by now you guys have seen lots and lots of videos on Top, uh, Top Gun Maverick, specifically when it came out in theaters. But this is a movie that has been missing in entertainment. It took me back. The nostalgia was played right. It wasn't just member berries. It wasn't, hey, remember Goose? This is his son. Remember what Goose used to do? This is Maverick. Remember what Maverick used to do? It wasn't just like, member, member, member. It was nostalgia done right. It advanced the story. The characters are great. All the new characters blend in perfectly. Tom Cruise is, uh, you know, as Maverick, he's still that wild card, uh, you know, the Maverick. And uh, But he's aged. He's matured a little bit. And he knows what he's doing is... Uh, you know, something that most people wouldn't do. It's something that's going to get him in trouble, something that's going to, uh, you know, maybe cost him his job, which is why he's never advanced from captain. But he still does it. So it's like he's mature. He knows how to do it, but he does it. But he knows how good he is. And, uh, you know, Val Kilmer is in this. And the scene between Val Kilmer and Tom Cruise is absolutely perfect it is a perfect scene between them two and it just shows where these characters have come from Iceman and Maverick from the 80s of being rivals to being wingmen and everything that they've gone through in their lives and then they're like even in their acting careers it works out so well in this and as far as the story goes um it's a simple story it's basically Tom Cruise Maverick you know uh he's being brought back to teach the Top Gun class because they're going on a mission that you may not come back from. It's like a, an impossible mission. And they need somebody uh, who can know, who's had real world experience, who knows how to handle the terrain to teach these new young uh, Top Guns how to do it. And uh, that's essentially the story. And my gosh, uh, this is beautiful. Like back to the 4K though, this is, this is uh, like I heard Mike say, uh, reference quality 4K. If you get like a new 4K TV and 4K player for Christmas and you need something to test out, uh, like you to see what 4K does, what it looks like if there is a difference, Top Gun Maverick is that 4K you want to put in your uh, 4K player on your new 4K TV because it will not disappoint. I have seen so many 
great 4Ks lately from the Lost Boys to Fright Night to uh, um, Return of the Living Dead. I, mean, I just, my, my mind went up. It's just all those in this, is, it's some of the best 4K I've seen. I don't want to be a 4K snob, too, because if you don't want 4K, that's okay. You don't have to go 4K. And I don't want to be just somebody who says, I, I want only the 4K. But if I'm going to get a 4K, it's going to be a 4K like this because this is great. It has over 80 minutes of bonus features, uh, you know, like behind the scenes. It's got the Lady Gaga music video. video. It's got the One Republic music video. Uh, and it's got like behind the scenes makings, uh, you know, how they flow and, and everything like that. I could use maybe a little more special features, but it, it's perfect. It's perfect amount of, of this. Uh, but holy crap. I just can't get over it. I... I didn't mean to gush so much about it because uh, I, I, I loved it. I really did love this movie. It was a good, good freaking movie. It gave me that classic uh, blockbuster uh, from the 80s and 90s feel. And it's got, uh, you know, that Americana. And I think Americana is something that's missing from uh, a lot of movies and entertainment today. And uh, with Tom Cruise and the director and everybody involved, they really set out to entertain and make a movie that they wanted to make that was entertaining and that didn't insult the audience. And, uh, you know, they didn't fan bait. You know, they didn't fan bait. And, and I heard, I think it was either Robert My Burnett or Gary from Pop Culture Minefield say that this was the best Star Wars movie a sequel that wasn't a Star Wars movie. And yes, it is very, very Star Wars in this. This is what Star Wars should have done with Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and and how they should have reintroduced uh, characters and how it just, it, it mind boggles me how people can not get the formula right and how, uh, you know, it took somebody like Tom Cruise and Top Gun, Top, Top Gun, which I never thought would ever, ever get a sequel, didn't even need a sequel. It gave us the sequel in the movie that we wanted and that we needed at the time at this time and a uh, man if they could just do more movies like this top gun maverick ghostbusters afterlife uh you know we need more movies like that cobra kai uh that pays respect to the audience to the fans that advances the story that has new characters that we can uh get in touch with i mean rooster uh goose's son miles teller perfect perfect phoenix and it's, it's, it's such a cast too as well it's got the diverse cast where everybody seems to fit it doesn't feel like they're inserted because they're so and so or because they're this or because of that it's because they're great actors they belong where they belong they belong in these parts and i just i love the movie i really did great cast great movie the soundtrack like not even the, it's like the orchestra soundtrack is great but the music the songs in the movie were great and it like I said, it really did take me back to like the summer blockbusters from the 80s and the 90s, like Jaws, like uh, Independence Day, uh, you know, just, you know, those classic movies that you go to the movie for. And I would love to see more movies and more movie studios come around to do stuff like this. It doesn't need to be a sequel. It doesn't need to be a sequel to an 80s movie or anything. Just, you know, take the formula of creating a good movie with entertaining uh uh, characters and a story and a plot that you know that is fun and entertaining <laughs> that's all i really gotta say but it, definitely pick this up if you've not picked it up um yeah it, it's a great movie it's a great movie 4k watch it with your family i'm probably gonna watch this a couple times this weekend so uh it's gonna be awesome so check it out top gun maverick 4k great 4k great movie uh Pick it up while you can, especially if you're getting a 4K or ask for it for Christmas with your new 4K TV that you're getting because you're going to want to see it. You're going to want to see it in 4K. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Did you like Top Gun Maverick? Uh, did you see it in theaters? What are some of your favorite scenes? Keep the discussion going in the comments. Let me know what you think. And if you liked what you saw here, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell for notifications. Please share the video out for everybody to see and wherever you guys are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night i thank you for watching always support physical media it is the superior format godspeed